At work, working with a zoomer, he asks for some files. Send him a zip. Hey, Anon, the file you sent me is broken. Figure it got corrupted. Rezip and send again. It's still broken, Anon. Go to his computer. He shows me how it's broken. Find out that zoomers have no idea what zip files are. How are zoomers somehow less technologically inclined than literal boomers? What's your excuse now? Ethnic, small peepee, -pee, according to himself. Watch his first Andrew Tate video. Gamer, barely goes outside. Nerd, what's your excuse now? Well, he's absolutely loaded, man. If only I had as much money as he did, I'd also have a hot chick beside me. Obviously. Be Twitter trans and woke police. Be the moral arbiter of all video games. Harass and try to dox and cancel game dev for 3 months because she has incest in her game as well as anti-vax themes and sexualizing underaged characters. The characters aren't underaged. Dox the dev and then post a thread about it on a chan style image board and take screen caps to blame transphobes and right wingers for your 3 month long harassment campaign. Post screen caps all over Twitter and pretend you weren't all harassing her for 3 months straight. I effing hate humanity, oh my god. The world is a cruel, regarded place. Be my ex-classmate. Neckbeard, thick lens glasses, acne, crooked teeth, bad style, pick related. Typical computer geek. No social life at all, no partying, no outgoings, no prom. Nobody talks to him. No women especially. Tried to talk to a classmate, got called creepy and eventually gave up. Gets sucked into the self-improvement rabbit hole. Tries to distract it by coding. Gets into more obscure stuff. Starts descending into madness. 11th grade. Isolated. It gets so bad he starts speaking to himself, twitching and having tantrums. One day he assaults his parents. Gets put in a psychiatric hospital, basically tortured. Gets released after two weeks. Mandatory two weeks at home. Guy doesn't come to school for a month. Once he does, everyone treats him like a patient for two days and then forgets about him. Failed two of his classes. Had to repeat the school year due to lack of participation. Isn't responsive and can barely contact him. The thing I hate the most about this is that dude never had a chance. He was predestined to fail in life due to his looks and bad family. He was a borderline genius, a prodigy in programming, but it didn't matter as his life had zero taste. Also, my classmates were so effing ignorant. Never spoke to him and rushed to claim that they tried helping him when the teachers questioned us. Some dumb girl in the class had the most tone-deaf BS ever. It's his fault for not interacting. I would have gladly talked to him if he always approached me first, whilst calling him creepy. I had tough times making friends too. Female suffering is an effing joke, and they don't want to feel responsible for his torment. I effing hate how shallow society is, and I honestly would understand if the dude ends up game-ending himself. He never had a chance. At least be honest and say you don't want to hang out with him because he's unattractive and awkward. I hate facades and female BS. If you're liking the video and want to watch more, be sure to support the channel by liking, commenting and subscribing. No matter how poor you think you are, if you have a family, you have everything. Meet girl. 10 years and 2 kids later she decides she doesn't want to be with me. I think we need a break. Her break involves still asking me to drive her everywhere, tell her my schedule, show her my phone, etc. No access to her phone though. Two weeks. She tells me, I still love you, I just wish we could still be together but not like be together. My face when. She tells me, I want you to be happy even if it means meeting someone else. I tell her I don't want anyone else. We should work things out and try to stay a family. Say I'll change offer to go to couples therapy. Apologize for all the times I messed up. She doubles down on wanting me to find someone else. Chest pain. Break continues. Two weeks later. Start reminiscing about old times. F like rabbits for an entire day. Next day tells me she has to work two cities over. Not a usual occurrence at all. My face when. Get upset. She tells me I'm controlling her. Break time again. Through all of this, she's still been living with me and sleeping in the bed with me. At night she lays on my chest cuddles and wraps around me. After a few she rolls over, roll over and put my arm around her. She hits me. I get mad and get up. 
Hey, where are you going? Aren't you coming to bed? My face went. This has happened five times in the past week. I don't know what the F to do. I lost my virginity to this girl. She's all I know. I feel like an effing plaything though. She hates me during the day and wants me to fall asleep. She says she doesn't want to be with me, but she refuses to move out because the kids need their mom. I mean, she obviously likes the fact that you're taking care of her needs. And the fact that she wants you to find someone else means she already got someone else. So, the best path forward is to move on. She already decided your relationship isn't worth fixing. I'm sorry, dude. I'm too autistic to get a girlfriend. Girl from friend group asks me out. Meet up with her. Immediately realize that I have absolutely nothing to talk about. She asks me icebreaker questions and I give her one-word answers because my mind goes completely blank. Literally say about two words every five minutes. After the most excruciatingly painful hour in a bit, I excuse myself to go home to spare us both the pain. I knew I was boring and anxious, but I never knew it was this bad. I think I'm broken on a fundamental level due to bad experiences growing up and locking myself in my bedroom to 4chan post on 4chan. I'm 22, what the f am I meant to do? I'd like to tell you a story of my teen years. Firstly, I'd like to say that I'm 100% straight and now let me begin my story. Be me 17 years old. Sleeping over at a friend's house late at night. Just him and I. We both play Super Smash Bros. Melee on GameCube. Friend goes, Dude, my parents are asleep, let's smoke some weed. We both go outside and smoke a joint between ourselves. Go inside and get back to Smash. I pick Captain Falcon and friend picks Zelda. Friend goes when match starts, dominate me daddy. I shift my eyes to the right and he has this F me look in his eyes. So high and I think to myself how cute he is. Immediately start making out with him. We're both into it. His dad walks in late at night. Calls us silly gays and then joins in on the makeout session. Was it gay bros? Yeah, but tell me more just to make sure. Best friend knows I'm a virgin insult desperate for sex. He has mild cock fetish. He's trying to start a cock agreement with his GF with me as the guy. Girl agrees. Fast forward two days and she texts him that I have to wear protection. She doesn't want me finishing on her or in her and she won't give head. Do I even effing bother? She's a 10 gym girl. But the limits laid out make this sound slightly better than my hand. Meanwhile, for this I have to buy condoms and travel there. I also have another story. Be me 15 virgin. GF calls me over. Watch movie blah blah end up making out on couch. She's touching me all over body. My brain gets scrambled thinking about losing virginity. Try to take her bra off. Can't do it because brain started to drift off. You haven't unhooked lots of bras, have you, Anon? Just your mom's. WTF did I just say, JPEG? Tells me to leave. Explain to her that I didn't mean it. Nob.avi breaks up with me next day. Still virgin and hate my life. Why do I say these things? Anyway guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!